When I walked through the doors of Jaws Plus, I was in transition where I was losing everything. If I haven't lost everything yet, I was losing everything. I needed a car. I needed stable housing for my children. I needed direction. The folks at Jaws Plus, they believed in me. Everyone just coming around me and loving me. Everything started being pieced back together. The first major thing that happened was me getting my Habitat home. They say that you have to have 400 hours of sweat equity. I was like, I don't even know how I'm gonna be able to get 400 hours. But with my family at City Gospel Mission, everybody came out, supported me every Saturday, and helped me build my home. To get a house, that was stability. Someone donated a car, and I was given that car to get my children back and forth to school and to get me back and forth to work. Having the car was reliability. I was able to go back to college, and I was able to get my associate's degree for social work. I was also on the dean's list while I was in college, which was pretty amazing. And then in 2016, when I was like, I don't want this record anymore. I don't want to be labeled a thief anymore. I don't want to have a felony. Um, I was like, I got to get it off. So my City Gospel Mission family, um, they came around me and they supported me. and. We went to the courthouse and we went in the courtroom and I walked up there to the judge and the judge was just in awe of the support and love that I had for people to come down and say yes. She doesn't need to have that on her record anymore and we believe in her and we will walk with her every step of the way. During my expungement, Paul, who was my supervisor, Paul Spence, he stood right next to me and he told the judge of the person that I am today versus the person that I was when I got my record. He just poured out his love for me to the judge. For someone to love you so much that they have your back, they got you. And Paul loves me that much. And the judge said she had never, ever seen so many people support one person for an expungement. And she said she did not hesitate to get this off my record. So now I'm no longer a felon, I'm no longer a thief, and God just, he continues to, to bless my life. I was convicted in 2003 and it was expunged in 2016, so 13 years. I've been really blessed with receiving material things, but the most important thing that I've received is the relationships. I've been volunteering with the Free Store Food Bank. I volunteer with the Lupus Foundation of Ohio. I've been able to be a friend or build relationships into people, guide them, give them my advice. With Habitat, I've still been volunteering at Habitat. So the way that I've been giving back is just pouring in, investing into others. It feels really good to be a blessing to others the way that City Gospel Mission has blessed me. So it's like recycling or coming full circle. Um, it, it, it's a wonderful feeling. It is. Yes. <laughs>